How to play dominoes. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. In this film, you will learn how to play the basic game of dominoes. Step 1 What is a domino? The tile, or bone as it's more commonly known, is a rectangle with a line down the centre. Each end of the tile contains a number of dots, usually from 0 to 6. For this film, we're using a set called Double Six. Step 2 Naming dominoes Dominoes are referred to by the number of dots or pips on each end, with the lowest number usually being mentioned first. So a tile with a 3 at one end and a 5 at the other is known as a 3-5. A tile with the same number at both ends is known as a double. So a 6-6 is known as a double 6. A double 6 is known as the heaviest domino, and a double blank is the lightest. Step 3 Shuffling the dominoes. Before a game can begin, the dominoes must be shuffled. The tiles must all be turned face down on the table, then moved around in a random motion, being careful not to flip any over. The collection of shuffled tiles is known as the boneyard. Step 4 Beginning a game. Before a game begins, you must decide who is to play first. Either players pick up a tile from the boneyard, and then the heaviest tile wins the right to go first. Or, the players draw seven tiles, and the holder of the heaviest tile starts. Step 5. Playing the game. Take seven dominoes from the boneyard, and stand them on the table facing you, so you know what you have, but no other player does. In most games, only the open ends of the layout of dominoes can be used. An end is open when it has no other tile connected to it. When playing a double, it can be placed crossways straddling the tile it's connected to. Usually, additional tiles can only be placed along the long side of the tile. Although in some variations of the game of dominoes, all four sides of the double are considered open, allowing dominoes to be connected in all four directions. A tile can only be placed if you have a tile in your hand that corresponds to a tile on the table. If a player cannot make a move, then they must take a tile from the boneyard until it's empty. Once it's empty, then they must pass to allow the other player to go. Step 6. Ending a game. A game ends in one of two ways, either when a player has played all their tiles or the game is blocked. This is when no player is able to add any tiles to the layout and there is no winner. Step 7. Scoring. Points are awarded to the winner by adding the number of pips on the losing player's tiles. The player that reaches the target score first, usually 100 or 200 points, is the winner. Step 8. Variations. Dominoes has been played for over 700 years, so there are many variations on the game. For details on more games, go to www.domino-games.com Have fun playing dominoes. Done.